Hello, shooters. My name is James Soule, and you're watching the American Trigger Sports Network, your station for live news and available to you 24-7 on your computer when you want to see it. Rachel Parsons is standing by in Fairfax, Virginia, NRA headquarters with this week's latest political news affecting your Second Amendment rights. Rachel is the official spokesperson for the American Trigger Sports Network and comes to us live each week from the offices of the NRA ILA. This week, Rachel will be bringing us legislation from around the country attacking your, high, your right to own high-capacity magazines. Who's behind it? And how is the NRA defending your rights? Rachel will comment. Plus, Mark Walters returns, the host of the fastest growing radio show, Armed American Radio, brings us the story of two police officers gunned down in Tampa, Florida, and asks this question. Should the dash camera from the police car showing the footage of this murder be released to the public? Mark will share his thoughts. Followed by our friend Patrick Kilpatrick, star of Stage and Screen. Patrick is most often cast as the baddest of the bad boys in films we've all seen and love, such as Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Last Man Standing with Bruce Willis, Under Siege 2 with Steven Seagal, only to mention a few of the over 100 films Patrick has starred in. But in reality, not only is Patrick a gun owner, sporting clay competitor, hunter, and conservationist, he has taken on a new role as educator by introducing the Hollywood elite to the family sport of gun ownership. Simply put, guns, golf clubs, baseball bats, and hockey sticks are only as dangerous as the person holding them. And Patrick's new quest is to teach actors and actresses to enjoy the ownership of guns like any other sport. On today's show, Patrick will be discussing Hollywood's role in protecting our Second Amendment rights, we have all seen guns in the hands of almost every movie star we've ever seen. But do they have a responsibility to us as gun owners? We'll ask. Patrick will answer. Finally, we have a special clip sent to us from Andy Lightbody, producer of Rocky Mountain TV. Andy seeks out the best hunting destinations around the country and not only interviews the outfitters of the hunting operation, but he goes out with a camera crew and films the hunt just as it happens, giving us a true representation of what you can expect when you arrive. If the hunt meets Andy's high expectations, he sends the film directly to us for you to judge for yourself. This week, Andy has found the goose hunt, unlike any other goose hunt <laughs> that you've ever been on. Well, I'll let you decide. I've already signed up for next season, and I hope to see you there. And this week's Trigger Sports File, we have traced the history of the M14 rifle. For those of you that own one, you may not know the complete history of this battlefield changing rifle. For those of you who do not own one, after you see this, you just may. In our breaking news file. How many of you have seen this commercial? He's online! Oh no, we can call for help! What are you doing? I'm filling my own Capital One credit card. I'll go with airline miles and a low interest rate. We have internet access? I'll upload a photo. There we go. I was full for three days. Cheeseburger! No! Cheeseburger! Personalize your card at Capital One Card Lab. Choose your rewards, interest rate, even upload your own image at CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? Well, Frank Hinger's wife wanted to design a card for her husband as a surprise and had a picture of his latest trophy, this beautiful buck. However, Capital One said no and refused his request, saying, in summary, we are unable to approve any image that contains violence, hatred, or cruelty to animals. So to answer the question, what's in your wallet? It won't be a Capital One card. In fact, you can obtain a credit card from the NRA with your favorite trophy. Contact the NRA, Mrs. Hinger, and support those who support you. We'll be right back. 